nasopharyngeal suctioning. Wash hands. Explain procedure to client. Assess client for evidence of upper airway secretions. Also assess heart and respiratory rate, lung sounds, and pulse oximeter reading. Position client and drape chest with chucks or towel. Semi to high fowlers if alert. Semi fowlers on side if unconscious. Assess nares. Select most patent side. Hyperoxygenate and hyperventilate if necessary. Turn on suction. Select pressure according to equipment available and hospital policy. Open bottle of normal saline and package of sterile water soluble lubricant. Open suction kit maintaining sterile technique. Apply sterile gloves. Remove receptacle from kit, maintaining sterility. Add normal saline to receptacle and squeeze lubricant onto sterile field using non-dominant hand. This hand is now designated non-sterile. Hold catheter in dominant hand. Using the designated non-sterile hand, attach connecting tube to catheter. Non-sterile hand and connecting tip of suction catheter are now contaminated. The suction catheter and the sterile hand are to be maintained as sterile. Estimate distance from tip of nose to base of earlobe. Test suction by using the non-sterile hand to occlude the suction opening and aspirate normal saline. This tests the function of the suction equipment and lubricates the tip. Sterile water-soluble lubricant may be used to additionally lubricate the tip. Without applying suction, gently but quickly insert the catheter into nary using a slight downward slant as the client inhales. Do not force. For pharyngeal suctioning in adults, insert the catheter approximately the distance from the tip of the nose to the base of the earlobe. The client should cough. The epiglottis is open on inspiration. If the client gags, the catheter is most likely in the esophagus. Apply intermittent suction for no longer than 10 seconds while slowly withdrawing and rotating the catheter. Encourage the client to cough during the procedure. Intermittent suction prevents injury to mucosa. Suctioning longer than 10 seconds can compromise cardiorespiratory status. Rinse catheter. If not contaminated, the nurse may resuction two to three times. The nurse may suction orally after nasal suctioning, but this contaminates the catheter.
reassess the client, position the client for comfort, provide nasal and oral care, dispose of equipment as appropriate, wash hands, chart baseline assessment, procedure, client's response to procedure, and amount and characteristics of secretions removed.